Charles has been getting some flack from the American press. The Cut magazine, which published an in-depth and controversial interview with Meghan Markle last month, has targeted King Charles in a piece titled King Charles' reign of fussiness has begun. It reports he had tantrums in the days after his mother's death, referring to moments he got annoyed with a pen. And the New York Times has called him disconnected for enjoying tax privileges, while the British public is reliant on food banks. So, Vanessa, mm -hmm. is King Charles <clears throat> out of touch? Well, it's a complicated question, isn't it? Obviously, he's never led the life that we have led, so he's never had to worry about buying a pair of school cho shoes for his children. Uh -huh. He's never had to wait in for the gas man who doesn't come and you've wasted <laughs> another whole day off work and don't get paid and they don't apologise and you're fuming and furious and nobody cares. Yeah, and also, fuming. he's never been someone that nobody cares about. <laughs> Everyone's always waiting for him. Everyone's always given the lavatory a new coat of paint and nobody's right. used it. You know, he's never... So, so does he know what it's like to be an ordinary person? Well, no. But also, yes, he went to Gordonston and he had an absolutely wretched time at school, you know, being pretty brutally treated, also bullied by fellow pupils and had a really rotten time and, and massively disliked. He served in the armed forces. He wasn't mm -hmm. given special treatment. Then he was an undergraduate at Cambridge at my college, Trinity. He would have had to slog if, if, if any of the... Uh, special dons... treatment to get in, didn't he? Well, uh, yeah. but he did, didn't he? Did <laughs> he did badly as Edward. Did, yes, Edward, did, yes, did. Edward got in and he really <laughs> scraped him, but right. Charles less badly. The article also called him a big fussy baby and a jerk. Sharon, you lived with the Americans. How do you explain them? Well, I'm furious with whoever the insignificant <coughs> little person is that wrote that article. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm really, like, angry because, again, Americans do not understand mm -hmm. the culture. Uh -huh. And they never will. Yeah. And the situation, yes, of course, he's a person of privilege, of white privilege. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was born into it. He's waited 73 years to become king. He's ready for it. He is a guy that is caring, a humanitarian, and he's going to do a great job. But these... I'm sorry, Americans have no right to C comment. Can I just say one thing? Sorry to interrupt, but I, I happen to be watching Loose Women today, not something I ordinarily do. And, and <laughs> no, but listen, don't laugh, because this oh, is really... a mistake. No, no, <laughs> hang on a minute. And Brenda... No, no, because this isn't funny, this is serious, that's why I wanted to the say it. The letter he no, sent to Brenda. Exactly. Which... He's, exactly. I, that's oh, yeah, why I had I to mention it. Yeah. Yes. Brenda Edwards, mm -hmm. who lost her son, her incredibly mm. gifted and gorgeous son, Jamal, who I was lucky enough to have met many times, was such a delightful person. Well, she lost her son. It's an absolute tragedy. And Brenda Edwards was reading this letter out. And I came in just as she was reading it. I know. I thought it was from a member of the public. It was it sensational. Was such a delightful, warm, sensitive, charming, in a way, sort of ordinary letter, like from me, somebody yes, that just watched yes. the telly and was just a fan mm. or something. And then at the end, she said it was from King Charles III. He had written it to himself. So I wanted to say that because the idea that he doesn't know anything about real life and doesn't care about Listen, real people, that's he, not true. He, when my husband got sick, he wrote to him. Now, I mean, man. he knows what's going on in the world. He is not yeah. removed. He knows what's going on in his country, and that's the thing that I love about him. What he did he, a lot, a lot what of did he write? Sorry, Kevin, what, what did he say in the letter to you about Ozzy? Well, he's the same age as Ozzy, and okay. so he kind of gets it, and he says, you know, we've done very well so far, <laughs> and this is just, you know, a little hurt. It's slightly different parts in life. But, uh, no, but my it... husband's the prince of darkness. <laughs> yeah, of course, he's <laughs> royalty, royalty as well. That's right. But, I mean, the, 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 you know, a lot of this... He's into the king of darkness. A, a lot of this vi vitriol that, that is coming <laughs> out of America, you know, particularly from the New York Times. The New York Times only recently, you know, just described us as a nation addicted to food banks. We all have to go to food banks to and that most of us live on porridge and boiled mutton. It is some kind of ridiculous yeah. medieval fairground image that these people have of this country. My dining room and is and my they, dining room full of bones. And, and they probably think everywhere. it's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> they do not understand that, <laughs> the, like... that the monarch does not rule us. He does not sit on his throne saying, you will do this. Oh, give would, them they bread have, today. They, the Throw monarch has no bread. power. Exactly. It's as simple as that. They don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand and, also and never will. it's rude, will. and don't be so rude. It is rude. Don't there is so that, Vanessa, yeah. Like that. That's horrible. Absolutely. But 